Hello, everybody. My name is Chin Yi. Today, I'd like to share you with a level I've been working on recently. It's based on a real-life architecture, the Tianfu Square in Chengdu, China. In general, it's a、um, find your kid walking simulator where you will ask around for information and go to several different places to search for your missing son. So. Let's get started, and I will show you a detailed walkthrough of this level. This is the very beginning of the level. You are inside a restaurant, and I've applied a transnutrient material to the model to kind of draw your attention and indicate that the kid is not here. The stairs are very obvious, so you will know where to go. Once you are on the second floor, you notice that there's a small bit of red over there. So let's go ahead and check it out. Whoops, wrong kid. So we need to go downstairs and try to find the manager. Well, guess the manager is not here. So let's walk a little bit further. Okay, here we go. The manager will tell us that the kid is probably outside the restaurant. So、um, let's leave this place and ask others for more information. So、um, this seller gives you a new location called Information Center. If you turn around, you will notice a guy is watching a panel. Once you get closer, you will find out that this is a map of this whole area. Currently, you are outside the Rongcheng Hot Pot. According to the map, the Information Center should be over there. After reporting your kid's information to the staff, you still need to continue your search for the kids and head west to explore the rest of the area. So this is a simple block out of the big tall statue at the center of the Tianfu Square that kind of connects the two floors together. Of course, you can follow the NPC's suggestions, or you can just search wherever you want. But in this video, I'm going to show you all the dialogue lines and one possible path. So the kid in Starbucks is still not your son. Let's try somewhere else. And there's also a map panel here, so you can find any new location very easily. The Xinhua Bookstore is in the west south corner. The structure of each store is unique based on what people sell in the store. I've also put some editorial design to the walls to show that there's still some space for you to go further and go behind the store. Okay, let's try the bookstore owner. This is where you can buy some food or drinks, and you can also eat there. 
Now we are in front of the kids' wardrobe, so let's try again. This NPC directs you to the second floor, which is the upper level of the square. To go there, we need to return to the statue and find the stairs near it. Now we enter a more open and empty space. I've added some trees and buildings to indicate the outlines borders of this level, so you can get a sense of how big the space is. Some random NPCs just to spice up the upper level. So. Basically, this is the end of this level. Here you find your kid, and I also want to show you this beautiful golden songbird. The one at um, Tianfu Square is just a copy. The real one is an ancient artifact unearthed in 2001 from the Jingshan ruins in Chengdu. And is kept in Jingshan Museums right now. The golden songbird is like the essence of the Chengdu culture, so that's also why I want to adapt it the um, Tianfu Square and made this level. I will also post a download link to this level after I finish polishing my lights and build this level. Feel free to um, try this yourself. Thanks for watching. I see you in next video. Bye bye.